you were one of the 20, 24 best high school players in the country when you came up. The following year, not 12 months after that, you were All-American basketball player in college. You go on your NBA lottery pick. You play in the NBA for years. You was a college assistant. You was a college head coach. Drawn upon all those different experiences, and you see where this thing is at right now. And, you know, when you turn on the TV, we get to hear what Jay Williams thinks. Yeah. We get to hear what Jay Billis thinks. Yeah. You know, how this should go, what should happen. What I'm asking you right now, what does Mark Macon think? How should this go for what moves should the NCAA make or individual institutions make? Or even because we have to acknowledge that they play a significant role in this thing. Nike, Under Armour, Adidas. These guys are calling the shots. They've transformed our game. So how should these individuals behave themselves. You pick any which one, coaches, however, but what do you think is the best thing to happen going forward? Mm -hmm. Wasn't no training table back then, man? Yeah, no. no, no, you, but you, I still ate, I still ate. No, you still but you know they got trained. They like these yeah. guys probably got their own chef. Everything. Every you team I mean? has its own. But look at how I'm breaking it down. Yes. So, and I was still at the gallery every day. <laughs> <laughs> I was still there every day. You know what I mean? Whether I was getting some or not, you know, I can put some away. Oh yeah, I'm gonna come back and get this this uh this British night coat. You know what I mean? I'm gonna come back and get this troop. I'm gonna come back and get this troop. The troop jacket, I'm coming. Those kind of things. But now you have more money and less understanding of what to do with it. You know, if I got $2,000, my mom needs some money, I'm sending this thousand. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm gonna send that if she needed it. Well, we gotta pay some bills. And yeah, But my mom would never put that on me. So a parent should never do that to a child. Anyway. Would it, under any circumstances, have been possible for you to pop up with five, $10,000 new clothes, a car, anything, and your mom not confront you or want to know how this is going? Not at, all. not at all. Not my mom. Do you think these kids today have the leeway to where they pop up with jewelry? and? Yeah. 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 yeah, they do. And it's easy. I mean, because, again, I, I, I can take it back to the image. Poop, you got it. Sometimes your mom questions you. Oh, mom, as you know. Blah 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 blah. My mom, my, my girl, anything. Mm -hmm. They just gonna go with it because they is that we're so far gone now into what we need to do for ourselves that we ain't we're not paying enough attention to our young our young folk. We're not paying enough attention to them, and that's the thing you have to pay attention to what's going on in their lives because I got this some years years back when the when when children started dropping out of school. When, when children started being very disrespectful to the, the, the instructors or the adults or the teachers. Mm -hmm. Because the teachers, a lot of them were qualified. Mm -hmm. A lot of them were just there for a check. Mm -hmm. Kids can smell it. And children know when yeah, you care they about them. They know way. when you care about them. Yeah. They know. So the teacher, that man, no, you sit yourself down and blah, blah, blah. I don't care what your mama say. Kids look for boundaries. Yeah. They, want, they, they want the boundaries. They they, they, but if you don't let them see it, they're going to keep looking and keep pushing. They, they understand when you care about them. Mm -hmm. And that, we go back to the car thing. We go back to the parent thing. We go back to being, a, being aware of your children. And trust me, there are a lot of parents that are on top of it. You see them at games. Mm -hmm. You see them cheering their children on. They're young athletes, per se. And you don't want to say, well, are they, are they pushing their child to be a professional athlete? You should. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. If that is the way out, but you should also push them to get a fair education so they can be able to get employment. Now, again, that might not be the employment that your degree says you can get. But if you have a degree, you in the you in the game. You in? Tell yeah. me you get the job. Wow, but you in the pool. Yeah. They can pool pull from. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You in the pool to get a job. Yeah. And then if you and if you do well by your by your institution, you know you all and, and, and make what I call. Uh, good connections, network well, mm -hmm. somebody will help you out mm -hmm. eventually. But then if they don't, you still get, you're in the pool. Mm -hmm. So there are goods and bads behind it. And don't say that they're not great parents that are taking care of their children because we're talking about 
a lot of the negatives, but there are a whole lot of positives, man. Mm -hmm. There are a whole lot of positive parents out there. And, and, and nowadays the generation gap has changed to where it used to be more of the underprivileged young men and women going to college and then making it. Mm -hmm. Now it's second generation. Now a lot of these young men and women that are going to college, their parents went to college. Yeah, you find a lot of parents who play sports yeah. now, they, the genes matter. So the kids are... And, 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 and what, we, what, we, what we're not seeing is that there are a lot more uh, uh, people from other countries mm -hmm. that are coming here to go to school, that are playing in the NBA. That's third, one third of the NBA. Are, are, are not foreign born? Foreign born. Is it up to 33%? One third. Well, that makes sense because they take in about one third of the draft slots. Yes, but what we're not getting is because we're so, we're so enamored by the spectacle of dunks and all this kind of stuff. Other countries are enamored by the spectacle of fundamental foundation. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're enamored by the monies that's been given out the high profile up and down shoes and slam dunks and you're going to Peace Jam, you're going here, you're going there, playing 80, I'm not gonna say this, playing 25 or more games per summer. Way more than that. I'm just using yeah, that, yeah. you see what I'm saying? For summer, so your whole summer's taken up mm -hmm. and you're traveling, you're putting stress on your body. Yes. You're doing all those things. Then somebody slipped you while you're tired, like, hey man, what's going on? I mean, I know y'all on the way back from blah, 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 getting some food, because now you're in Vegas. Mm -hmm. You and your teammates, y'all rolling. Y'all done went to the store and got something to eat mm -hmm. because y'all done played three, four games. Now you're rolling back. Not knowing that somebody's been watching you or somebody's been watching your coach and your coach said, yeah, go ahead and talk to him. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, you, you rap into him, blah, blah, what you need, man? Y'all need some money? Y'all got some Here, man, take this. Mm -hmm. Take this three, two, three hundred, man. Y'all get something to eat, man. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. And I'm just throwing it out there. Mm -hmm. Not to say that it happened, but not to say that it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. And so now these young men got three, four hundred dollars. We're gonna go down to 7 Eleven. We ain't buying nothing but four or five hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? We pocketing this. Mm -hmm. We get back, we got free time, we're gonna go down to the mall. I'm gonna get me Metal Gear 17 or 2K18. Mm -hmm. That's sixty dollars, seventy dollars, whatever. I still got 200 I still got 150 that I'm taking home. Why? Because he gave it to me. He didn't give it to y'all. So, you were one of the 20, 24 best high school players in the country when you came up. The following year, not 12 months after that, you were all American basketball player in college. You go on your NBA lottery pick. You play in the NBA for years. You was a college assistant. He was a college head coach. Drawing upon all those different experiences, and you see where this thing is at right now. And, you know, when you turn on the TV, we get to hear what Jay Williams thinks. Yeah. We get to hear what Jay Billis thinks. Yeah. You know, how this should go, what should happen. What I'm asking you right now, what does Mark Macon think? How should this go for what moves should the NCAA make or individual institutions make? Or even because we have to acknowledge that they play a significant role in this thing. Nike, Under Armour, Adidas. These guys are calling the shots. They've transformed our game. So how should these individuals behave themselves? You pick any which one, coaches, however. But what do you think is the best thing to happen going well, forward? Let me say this so I can preface it this way. In my opinion, mm -hmm. like I like what Jay Williams says. I love what Jay Billis says. Even some of the commentators that are saying things. <clears throat> what we have to realize is this is business. It's big business. It ain't just business. It's big business. Mm -hmm. Business, not business, business. This is big business. Multi-billion yes. dollar industry. So, in my opinion, excuse me, if you take away amateurism, there are they're, they're a million rules I can, I can fly in there. You keep the amateurism, and I think we talked about this the other day. You're gonna to have to keep the amateurism. What you have to do is you have to give them some kind of, for me, a different kind of stipend. Uh, I think they need to have more monies in that perspective because I don't care how much money you give them. 
still gonna be somebody that got that got yeah, a little more. Yeah, yeah. That can give him a little more that's gonna that's gonna gonna sweeten the pot. Enticing. It's gonna sweeten the pot. Gear, they get enough gear. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just the point of what's needed. What's needed? You gotta have some damn counseling. Excuse my language. They need to be. They need to be strapped and prepared for this. And that's not to say they're not going to say yes. Still, they have to have an understanding of this is what you can get, but this is what can happen. You know what I mean? We're going to once we find it out, once we investigate it, we taking all of it away. Not only are we going to take your eligibility, but we taking every game you ever played. We may take everything the school ever had from the time you was there to the time you left. Well, these days they talking about taking your freedom, and they exactly from a standpoint, if they take the amateurism away, they can do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You still you still a young man, eighteen to twenty two years old. Mm -hmm. That's hard to do uh, in order to take your freedom away because you ain't if you're not if you're not throwing games, mm -hmm. all you doing is taking some change, mm -hmm. and you offer me fifteen hundred dollars nowadays, mm -hmm. and tell me it's a loan. Okay, yeah, it's a loan. I'm not paying you back. You know I ain't paying you back. And you, you ain't signed no paperwork. Exactly. You know I ain't paying you back. Mm -hmm. But for your paperwork, you have to put it down as long so you can have a what's called a paper trail. Mm -hmm. So if you get hurt, they get hurt too. Mm -hmm. But that's what you